All right, guys, welcome back to the channel for some extremely exciting Star Wars Battlefront related news. Now, as much as I would love to be announcing a Battlefront 3 right now, it's not quite that exciting, but it is still something really, really cool that came from the official Star Wars Twitter page earlier today. Now, earlier today, the official Star Wars page did tweet that the original favorites strike back Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection is coming March 14th. Now, if you guys don't know what this is, we're going to go through all the details in this video. And we're also going to go through kind of what this means and what my thoughts are. And yeah, everything that there is to do with this channel. So the article goes in and says that during today's Nintendo Direct, Aspire and Lucasfilm Games revealed Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection, which will be Star Wars Battlefront, the OG 2004, Battlefront 2 from 2005, introduced into a new generation. So on March the 14th, so mark your calendars, for Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox Series X, S, Xbox One, and PC for $35. The Battlefront Collection features restored online play for up to 64 players, which is probably the most exciting part about this, is that we're going to be able to jump back into some classic gameplay with multiplayer servers. They have expansions to Hero Assault Mode and all previously released bonus content for both titles, and Steam users will also enjoy Steam Deck support. The Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection includes a galaxy of content inspired by the original and prequel trilogies, from famous battles across episode 1 through 6, to playable heroes and villains like Saj Ventress, Darth Vader and more, to unique modes and challenges, and then below they have a full breakdown of what to look forward to, including previously console exclusive extras that are now included on all platforms. So some of the features are going to be in the Battlefront Classic, the Jabba's Palace map. For Battlefront 2, there's going to be Bespin Cloud City, Renvar Harbor, Renvar Citadel, and Yavin 4 Arena. These are some classic maps, and they're going to be all over these games. It's going to be so much fun to record this. Asajj Ventress and Kit Fisto as bonus playable heroes, which I think is going to be incredible. Everyone always nagged for like Asajj Ventress in the new Battlefront 2, so at least we can get some gameplay of her in the old Battlefront 2, I guess, right? We've got to compromise with these things. It is Lucasfilm, after all. Uh, things like Galactic Conquest, the Star Wars Battlefront and Battlefront 2 campaign, they're all going to be returning as well. 64-player uh, online support, which I touched on earlier, which is super exciting. I'm really keen to see how many people actually jump in and play this and how long the servers stay alive for. Uh, I would love for this to kind of continue us through until we get some sort of Battlefront 3 news, I guess, if that ever happens. Uh, fighting on the ground with things like Wookiee Warriors, Jet Troopers, Droidicas, and more in massive multiplayer action. For vehicles, they've got things like speeder bikes, ATSTs, ATRTs, and more. And then you can pilot legendary ships like TIE Fighters, X Wings, and more in air dogfights. Now, we did touch earlier on the Expanded Hero Assault, and this is going to tell us kind of what that includes. So for the first time ever, Hero Assault is playable on all ground maps, including Death Star, Kashyyyk, Kamino, and Naboo. You can fight with heroes like Mace Windu, Yoda, Luke Skywalker, and many others, and villains like Darth Maul, General Grievous, Darth Vader, and a ton of others as well. So the hero lineup is probably going to be better than the new Battlefront 2, which is exciting, and I really can't wait to get my hands on this. I honestly think it's going to be great for the gaming community that is surrounding Star Wars, and Star Wars games have kind of needed some love since Jedi Survivor. So this is really cool. March 14th, this is all coming out, and they gave us a little announcement trailer here as well. So if you guys are looking to do some multiplayer action, I will probably actually stream this when it first comes out and make a ton of videos on it. So if that's something you guys are excited for, make sure you stay tuned to the channel. Subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you guys in the next video.